how to import a clip in Fusion. So you might have read the title of this video and thought I know how to open a Fusion clip and yes it's pretty easy but there's a few ways that you can do it and I'll talk about the disadvantages and the advantages of either way. The most common way is by making sure that the playhead is on top of your video and go to the Fusion page. If you go this route you can see that the clip shows up in the preview window and we can see the in and out points here in this timeline and the playhead. If we open up the keyframes, we can see that we're not working with just the in and out points, but the entire clip. And most of the times we, we don't want that. Which brings me to the second way of importing clips to Fusion, and that's new Fusion clips. So you go to your clip in the edit page, right click, new Fusion clip. A Fusion clip is very similar to a compound clip. You can check my previous video about compound clips. A main difference though is that a fusion clip can't be decomposed unlike the compound clips. So if you would like to access your media, you would have to open in timeline, copy this media, go into your other timeline, paste it and remove the fusion clip. Now it's really important to know that any changes you make to your clip, like speed retiming or adding an effect, won't translate into fusion. So if you were to add, for example, this border and went to Fusion, you won't see the border. But if you wanted this border to be in the Fusion as well, you would have to make a new Fusion clip. This way DaVinci will combine these different elements. And every time you add a different thing, so for example, if I were to retime it, I would have to make a new Fusion clip. So now it's even retimed. All right, so with this Fusion clip, when we go to Fusion and check the keyframes, we can see that we only have the footage that's in between the in and out points. If you wanna change the in and out points or select different section of the clip that you would like to use, you have to go back to the Edit tab, Open in Timeline, and then make the adjustments. Really quick tip, if you click on the Clips button, you will see all of your clips in your timeline and you can switch between them individually in the Fusion page. So to import multiple clips in Fusion with a Fusion clip, you just have to select all of the clips, right click, new Fusion clip, then go to Fusion. If we take a look at the keyframes, we can see that the clips are stuck on top of each other. And if we take a look in the inspector with the media in selected, we can see that we are quite limited with our options. By the way, how the clips are stacked here doesn't matter. What matters in Fusion is the way the nodes are connected. So if you're a beginner, don't confuse those two. All right, so now that that's one way to import multiple Fusion clips, but the professional way of doing it is a bit different. First, you go to the media pool in your masters you create a new bin. Then we would open this Fusion Edit and we would create a, a new bin, which will be called Effect 1. And then inside this Effect 1, we would want to add all of the specific footage that we'd wanna use for this section of the video. It's all about being organized because organization is king. Then we would need to create a new Fusion composition and we would have to set the duration exactly what the duration of these clips is. So from here to here. And right now I can just see the duration of this video. So let's make it a bit more difficult. So how to measure this duration? A quick way to do it is by going to the first keyframe of this clip and use a marker. Now to set the marker that's in the timeline and not on the clip, you have to make sure that none of the clips is selected and hit M. Then with the option, of course I'm using Mac OS, so on Windows it might be Alt, but anyways, with the option pressed, I can drag the marker till the end and make sure that snapping is on so that it can snap right on the end. Now with this marker, I can see the duration is 11 seconds and eight milliseconds, so I can create a new fusion composition and set it created, delete this marker as I don't need it anymore and import the fusion composition. We will not import anything from here. We would open it 
in Fusion, then open the media pool and grab the footage and import it. This way, we can see that we have a lot more options within the inspector page. Now to preview these clips, what you have to do is select the note and press either one or two. Of course, when you are in Fusion and working with multiple nodes, you would always want to rename them, like I said, organization. To do it, just right click and rename. The shortcut is F2 or you can customize it with any shortcut that you might want. If this video was helpful, please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.